Sundays to the hospital with him. Oh. And that he would let him hold the knife to make the incision. And that he had this wonderful, wonderful hand to do this. Oh. <laughs> this was before. <laughs> this obviously was before we had all the rules and regulations. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. My dad yeah. used to say I had surgeon's hands, but when I got yeah. to medical training, I hated surgery. Well, I think, I'm not sure if I'm right about this, but my, understa I, my understanding was that H.L. was a surgeon. Really? But I'm not sure about that, and I don't think I have anything that says that, but... But my understanding was, and maybe I'm just confused, thinking that's what his father wanted. His father wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. But you know, he did, and I don't quite know how this happened. I remember Bob talking about it. That he got his his uh, medical de degree and his PhD practically simultaneously. Yes, I read that. He took a year off or something to do yeah. the PhD. Yeah, yeah, which is kind of unheard of. Yeah. So. Well, so his father was a surgeon also? His father was a surgeon, yeah. And now how did they wind up in New Paris? That wasn't for very long. He was born there. But I mean, the family was from Minnesota? Well, I think that's where uh, his, his father's parents were from. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he was, uh, the father was born and raised in Ohio, probably. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, when I first tried to track him down, I talked to the newspaper editor in New Paris, an older woman who, who said she knew the Dunn family, and there was a, a living relative in Florida in her 90s, and I talked to her, but she'd never heard of this Dunn family. It was a different Dunn family. Yeah, it must have been, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, to my knowledge, um, I never heard that he had any relatives. Mm. And uh, I think I would have because uh, my husband's mother, Cappy, was very involved with the in-laws, you know, when the kids were little. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure she would have. Uh, there were a lot of Halberts uh, around, I think, uh, the mother's family. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of them were, there was one, I guess it was uh, probably the mother's sister. Her name was Lucy. And she was, uh, we have several paintings that she did. Mm -hmm. She was a wonderful artist. But she met this man when she was about 18 years old. And he told her that it was not ladylike to paint, and that she would have to give up painting. So she did, and then when he died, she went back to painting. And at that time, she was about 70 years old, but she painted, uh, we have uh, a couple of paintings, and uh, they were very good. Sounds uh, like Grandma was, Moses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. And now that was in Ohio, the, the Halberts? No, oh, no, that was here. They were here in Minneapolis. Oh, okay, so... Uh, yeah. I think, uh, well, H.L. and Cappy never lived in Ohio. Uh-huh. They, they were married and... Um, Cappy was a nurse. And she was in nurse's training in Kansas. And uh, he was in the, HL was in the service. Uh -huh. And that's where they met. And right after she graduated from nursing school and he got out of the service, they came back to Minneapolis. Uh -huh. And at that time, his family was here. And I think he went to 
Well, I think he went to high school here, and, and I think all his education was here. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the father and mother moved here very early in their life, too. Uh-huh. His father and mother. Right. Um, now, uh, what branch of the service was he in? I didn't know that. Well, let's see. I've got a picture of him in the Army. I think it's Army. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. And how long he was in the service, I don't know. Interesting. He was one handsome dude in the service, I know. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I had only seen the photo that's on the back of the book, and I always thought he looked pretty glum and not very well. And uh, Well, he had had, um, he had Bell's palsy, oh. very severe Bell's palsy. And as a result, he had quite a paralyzed, he had a very, uh, he lost a, uh, he had Bell's palsy and he also had glaucoma. And he lost the sight of one eye with the glaucoma. Uh -huh. And the Bell's palsy left him very uh, paralyzed, like, you know, his, he had the, the one side of the mouth that really kind of hung down. Oh. Yeah. So. How old was he when he had that? Um, I think he was probably in about his 50s when he had it. Uh-huh. It's strange stuff. I've had it twice myself. Wow. Oh. I had it on both sides of my face. Wow. It's weird stuff. I don't know why, why you get it either, I guess. No, it's a mystery. Yeah. Hmm. As the doctor told me, nobody's ever died from it, so they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, um... So you and Bob uh, lived most of your lives in, in Minnesota, or...? Yeah, we did until um, <clears throat> uh, we moved to Colorado. We were in Colorado for three years, and then we were in Portland, Oregon for three years mm -hmm. after Bob retired. Mm -hmm. But Bob traveled. Uh, Bob was an architect, and he was the, was, I don't know if you've ever heard of 3M Corporation, oh. Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're all over the world, and he... He did their architecture for them. Oh, really? All over Europe. So he traveled to Europe a lot. He was in Europe a great deal of the time. Mm-hmm. So then you came back to Minnesota to retire? Or? No, we retired in Minnesota. Uh-huh. And um, our son was uh, living in Colorado and wanted us to come out, so... We went out and we lived there for three years, and, and then uh, he went on to Portland, and so did our daughter. So we went out there for three years, and we couldn't get uh, we couldn't get good medical help out there. Mm. So many of the places weren't taking uh, Medicare. Mm. So we decided we'd come back to Minnesota. So we came back to Minnesota then. Mm -hmm. So. Well, oh. um, just, just trying to think of a couple other things about uh, early memories. Um, so you met both of, uh, of your husband's grandparents. Were they? Did you see much of them? No, or? they were. No, I had. No, I didn't. They were dead by the time we met. Oh, okay. They died. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So just hearsay then. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, well, and their house is still here. Or their house still stands there. And uh, the family house, you know. Uh-huh. His grandfather's house and stuff. So and I think they died quite young, actually, the grandparents. Yeah, I'm surprised. Um, and I don't know of what, you know. Mm -hmm. But people didn't live that long back then, I guess. That's probably... Yeah. Um, that was something I was thinking of asking you. What, um, do you have very many pictures of uh, HL? Or? I don't have a lot. I have a few. Um, I'd have to look. Yeah, uh, um, I'd love to get... Uh, Catherine said, uh, scanned me some copies and sent them, so... 
Uh, what did she send you? She sent the one of both Sri and John uh, sitting on his lap, and then one of him holding uh, one of the sons. Let me see which one it was. Uh, when he was very young, it must have been taken. Uh, let's see, where did that go? Um, got a folder here. Um, da -da -da. Huh. Uh, I think it's this one. Um, now it's decided to open Photoshop, which takes forever. She captioned it for me. Oh. Oh, it's with the uh, the oldest son, Halbert. Okay. When yeah. he was about a year old, and he's uh, he's holding him, looking kind of uncomfortable, like, what's this? <laughs> Um, I'll have to look and see what I have. I probably have some younger ones of them, you know, when they were still married, like. Uh -huh. And then uh, he would send a picture of himself every once in a while, so I have to see. Catherine, uh, Catherine has a habit of getting into the family yeah, albums and kind of helping herself to things. <laughs> So I, I'm not quite sure how many things she's taken. <laughs> so I'll have to look and see what I have. Well, uh, if they're scanned, then you can make copies of them and uh, don't have yeah. to, to yeah. Uh, break up the yeah. album. I, I've gone through our album and done similar things. So. Yeah. So. so how did you and Bob meet then? How did we meet? Um, I met Bob through my roommate. And my roommate was a speech clinician for the state of Minnesota and worked with Bob's mother. Oh. So that's how I met him. Huh. And he was just uh, just finishing up his architectural degree because he'd been in service for several years, uh -huh. World War II, in the Marines. Um, I, uh, I found quite a, a bit about both him and um, Dick in, uh, in the Southwest with an uh, observatory named after him and all of his interest in solar uh, yeah. stuff. But I couldn't find anything on, uh, on the older brother, Halbert. Uh, Halbert? Said, well, Halbert's lived out, of the United, lived out of the United States most of the time. Uh -huh. He was uh, an engineer and... Uh, I want to say he worked for the Na Navy Department, mm. but he was in Spain for a number of years, and then he ended up uh, living in London, uh, owned a place in London, and lived in London. Oh. So, and he was... He was a brilliant, brilliant guy, but one of these guys that, uh, oh, I don't quite know how you describe him. He, he had a hard time in life. He just uh, couldn't, you know, didn't adjust to socializing with people too uh -huh. well. And he never married. He never married, no. Uh-huh. Oh. So, um, the, um, uh, I'm curious, it, it, it would appear that the uh, rights to the book are um, probably reverted to, to you all from, I think, if the copyrights expired. And uh, I mentioned it to Catherine whether uh, uh, she was aware of the rights to it or not, but uh, if it gets reprinted, um, it might uh, fall on you all to decide what to do, but uh, it didn't. So how do we find that out? Are we notified, or I don't know. Um, I I didn't do the research, but I, given that the uh, the youngest relatives are your your kids. Uh, yeah. So are, my kids are the only two. Yeah. 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 So. 
Yeah. Well, it's been fascinating uh, I, looking at Catherine's website, seeing what they're doing on their farm. That's. Uh, yeah, I was out there at Thanksgiving, and I tell you, they're a hard-working twosome. I'll bet. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she is, uh, well, she's got a wonderful husband, <clears throat> and he'd have to be wonderful because she's she's got all this energy that, uh, I don't know, she just uh, kind of amazes us. She's <clears throat> She has a real artistic talent and she does very well with her art i could see that yeah but besides that she's constantly i don't know if you go to her website and see some of these things that she's creating some of these animals and things yeah they're amazing yeah so so she keeps busy yeah <laughs> so and then my son uh he's in san diego john mm -hmm. and he's uh very smart young man, and uh, he taught uh, for 15 years at the University of Colorado. Uh, he graduated, got a doctorate out of Harvard in physics, oh. and uh, he left, decided he'd had enough <clears throat> teaching and decided he'd like to join the corporate world, so... He's working uh, for a company in, out of L.A., but they live in San Diego. Mm. And he does the, uh, I don't understand it. It's uh, All I know, it's legal, and it's uh, high tech. Mm. And he's designed something, and then he goes around the country teaching it to the people that buy it for this company. So. Oh, it's like software for computers? Yeah, it's, it's that type of stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. So. Is he married? Yes, uh-huh. Any, any kids? or? No kids. We seem to have dogs in our family. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh. Uh, I haven't gotten in touch with him, but uh, this has been very helpful. Oh, there's one last question. Uh, I On his... Um, draft card from the from World War II, it said he was missing his right index finger, but it's very evident in the picture with Catherine in his lap that he's got a right index finger, and she didn't know anything about that. Have you ever heard anything like that? No, I've never, no, I've never been aware of that. She mentioned it to me, and I said, well, if he did, it must have been very slight, because I <laughs> certainly never was aware of him being without a finger. Yeah, yeah, it, um, you could see it right there in that photograph. So uh, I just that was mysterious. So yeah. Well, I, I was sure. Just say it. Pardon. Uh, uh, pardon. You go ahead. Oh, I was just saying. Uh, I, I sure appreciate your time. This has been very interesting. I've learned a lot, and uh, um, I um, look forward to if, if Catherine can scan any more photos for me. I'd like to. Um, do you have any plans to see her in the next... Uh... I'm going out to see my son in March. Um, I imagine he must have a scanner. Uh-huh. And 